you tell me if you've got them. Okay, yeah. Okay, the words are ruined. What if you have it? Wind? Don't have it. Got it. I don't. Pox? Got it. Got it. Got it. Wench? Got it. Mars? Got it. Got it. Fancy? Got it. I watched, the, watched his tears fall down his face. This was my favorite TV show. Daryl had just found out his daughter had chicken pox and was going to be bedridden for three weeks. <laughs> he looked bothered, but I didn't know why. It was only chicken pox, and he was Scottish. Weren't the Scottish not supposed to get bothered? I raised an eyebrow at his emotions and decided I had better things to do than watch this. As I stood up to turn off the TV, I placed my slippery fancy mug on the table. It was to my unfortunate surprise that the table was moved and the mug crashed to the ground. Aw, uh, wait, you have to read yours before you go. Because it sounded okay. good. Okay, once upon a time, a fancy Scottish wench teleported to Mars. The terrain was unusual and her hair was blowing sh strange because there was no wind on Mars. She touched her face and screamed. The teleportation devices scrambled her arms and her head was now an apple. She felt her eyebrow twitch and she found that it was now cheese. Her saliva turned to tea as well. Whoa! <laughs> the girl who had just ruined my fancy paper apple. I had spent two hours folding that out of napkins. I made a face at her back. She still didn't look too bothered. That was when I realized what I'd just said. This time the Shakespeare Festival was ruining my mind. 
So the next logical step was to shave my eyebrows. That was what I was doing when my brother brought me tea, apples, and cheese. She recoiled in horror. Danny, lad, what have you been doing? Yep, that was a Scottish accent. This festival wasn't good to my family. <laughs>